Right, so let me double check it's uh, cop. Yeah, it's doing it, cool. I don't quite trust it when the um, when the numbers disappear off the bottom to tell me that it's actually working or not. So it says sometimes when you change your limits, the number. I just I kind of ignore what the completed pack does. Whatever my lower limit is, I leave as my lower limit. So even if it's the wrong way round, just leave your lower limit as your lower limit. Get the same answer out at the end. So I'm using u equals cos, so x equals cos u. So I've got dx by du is minus sine u with my now if you remember we need to get rid of dx don't we so dx is minus sine u du right so that's going to become 1 over so x squared is staying uh, nope, hang on, it isn't. Shut up, Dave. Hang on, put my finger on. Let's change the x squared into cos squared. Then I've got the square root of 1 minus cos squared. And then that's times by a minus sine u du. The 1 minus sine squared, 1 minus cos squared is a sine squared. So I've got a cos squared u times by the square root of a sine squared u times by a minus sine u du. The sine squared cancels with the square root. So I've got 1 over cos squared u times by sine u times by minus sine u du. So my sine u's cancel. So remember, kind of like we take it easy with our rearranging and make sure it's all okay. So I've got minus 1 because of the minus over cos squared u du. What over cos squared is secant squared, so I've got minus secant squared u du. So I know if I integrate that, it's going to become tan or minus tan. So let's think about our limits now. So for x is a half, so I started off with x equals here. So I've got a half is cos u. So if I do the inverse cos of a half, it's going to give me pi by 3. So I'm going to use the bottom limit as pi by 3. And then for the upper limit, when x is 1, I'm saying that 1 is cos u. And that gives me, have they changed this? What's yours and yours? My completed one says root 3 over 2. This one says 1. So if I do the inverse cos of 1, that's 0. So I get 0 out for you there. So hopefully this will match what's in yours. So, I've got a, so you can see that the limits are upside down. Now, to be fair, the minus is going to sort that out anyway. So if I integrate it, it's minus tan x between pi by 3 and 0. So I'm going to put, I'll have a minus tan of naught minus a minus tan pi by 3. Uh, I need a calculator. Hang on a second, I'm pause. Right, I'm back with you. Uh, so, I've got the calculator now. So, tan of naught is naught, and it's minus. Now, tan of pi by 3 is root 3, so it's minus and minus root 3. So, I'll get a positive value of root 3, which is what I wanted. So, don't worry about the, the signs being changed over on it. It's fine, it sorts itself out. It's all fine. So, there should be a question for you. So they'll have changed it, you just have a go at it, see if you can get it. Um, but they'll have changed the limit, they'll have switched it around when you don't really need to. So while I've done it, you see what they've done here, they've changed the limits but they've changed the sign, whereas I don't bother. Just leave it as it is, you'll get the right answer at the end. It's just that everything will be backwards. So don't worry about that, there's some questions there. See you later, bye!